there's a new engine on the block. So let's go under the bonnet, pull this thing apart and have a proper look at why the HR12 LPG MHEV isn't just another three cylinder trying to wheeze its way past the emissions police. Now, this is the world's first production engine to combine direct injection with LPG. And this isn't just about strapping a gas tank to a tiny petrol engine. The HR12 is a 1.2 litre three cylinder unit with a 48 volt mild hybrid system bolted on. Peak power is 138 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and torque tops out at 230 Nm of torque from 2,100 RPM. But the trick here, the thing that makes it special is how it burns LPG. Now historically, LPG conversions used port injection and a clumsy vaporizer. Here, Horse Powertrain has built an injection system from scratch to deal with LPG in the same way modern petrol engines handle gasoline, pushing it directly into the combustion chamber under high pressure with computer controlled precision. Now LPG as you might know is tricky, it's stored in liquid form under pressure but as soon as it is released it wants to expand into a gas. That makes metering and timing extremely difficult. Horses engineers solved this by building an electronically controlled vaporizer that keeps the phase change consistent. So when the injector opens, you get exactly the right dose at exactly the right point in the cycle. The key advantage is that the charge can be cooled during injection, just like in DI petrol engines. Cooler charge, higher compression, more efficient burn. And efficiency is the whole game here. On LPG, CO2 emissions drop by around 9% compared with petrol engines without losing usable torque. The engine still uses variable valve timing, so cylinder filing is optimized whether it's running on petrol or LPG. Then there is the valve train, which has been beefed up because LPG burns hotter and has less lubricity than petrol. If you try to run a normal petrol engine on LPG long term, the valves would look like toast after a few thousand miles. Reinforced seats and stems mean that this one can handle the extra thermal load. Layered on top of that is a 48 volt mild hybrid system and the belt integrated starter generator isn't just there for start and stop. It gives torque fill at lower revs, masking turbo lag and provides regenerative braking to keep the system topped up. In short bursts, the electric boost can cover for the relative softness of LPG combustion, giving you that immediate shove petrol drivers are used to. The DC converter ensures that the whole system talks properly to the car's main electrical system. So you don't end up with the sort of Frankensteinian wiring nightmares that plague aftermarket conversions. From a combustion perspective, the beauty here is charge control. Direct injection allows stratified combustion under light loads, meaning the injectors can spray a fine mist of LPG right near the spark plug while leaving the rest of the chamber lean. That saves fuel and keeps emissions down. Under heavy load, the system goes homogeneous, which means that the fuel is evenly mixed with air for maximum power. Switching between the two requires incredibly accurate injector timing, which is only possible with high-speed electronic control. It is worth pointing out though that LPG has an octane rating north of 100. That means that this engine can run more ignition advance before detonation sets in. More advance equals more efficiency and in practice less need for heavy boost pressures. That's why you can get a healthy 230 Nm from just 1.2 liters without resorting to ridiculous turbocharging boost pressures. The turbo is there, of course, but it's not working over time. Cooling and lubrication are also critical. LPG burns hotter than petrol as I have said, so the piston crowns and valve faces need upgraded alloys and better cooling channels. So, the HR12 features oil squirters that spray the underside of the pistons carrying away excess heat. The head design is also optimized with extra coolant passages around the exhaust valves, again preventing hotspots 
And if you don't do this, you end up with cracked heads and detonation issues within months. But with all of that said, let's think about the bigger picture. Why does this matter? Well, because LPG is abundant, cheap and infrastructure already exists in many markets. Yet, car makers largely abandoned it because the engines weren't efficient enough to justify the hassle. But by combining direct injection, precise vaporization and mild hybrid tech, Wars powertrain has effectively solved the two big problems, efficiency and drivability. And it doesn't stop there. The HR12 is Euro 6E and Euro 7 compliant. That's not trivial. Euro 7 will be one of the strictest emission standards ever, hammering small engines with tougher NOx and particulate limits. Direct injection means LPG atomizes properly, avoiding the big suit particles that plague port injected gas systems. Add in the hybrid system's ability to smooth transient conditions where emissions usually spike and you've got a package that can slip through regulations without strangling performance. And before you ask, is this even a real engine or is this just one of those marketing stunts? Um, well, production for this engine has already started in Romania, at Moveni, where Reynolds Dacia Arm already built some of its most rugged, cost-effective cars in Europe. So, this isn't a science experiment or a boutique project. It's going to be out there under the bonnets of real cars very soon. And while Horse hasn't yet said which cars will get it, the smart money is on compact crossovers and family hatchbacks. Vehicles where a balance of efficiency, low running costs and reasonable performance actually matters. In essence, what we are looking at is proof that the internal combustion still has a few tricks up its sleeve. Everyone thought LPG was yesterday's fuel, destined for budget conversions. Yet here comes a tiny three-cylinder, proving that when you mix clever combustion control, direct injection and mild hybrid tr trickery, you can give electric cars a serious headache. But yeah, at the end of this video, please let me know what you guys think of this new engine and it running on LPG gas. Um, also, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you must really enjoy most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's someone else a like, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.